introduce to you this theory for the Bogotas. First, you gotta know that this is a hypothesis. This hypothesis starts with the two leaders of the common political parties at that time, uh, the conservative and the liberal one. The leader from the liberal one was Jorge Yesar Gaitan. And the leader from the conservative one was Alberto Lloras Carmar. So, as they both were trying to get some votes from the people, Jorge Yeser was doing it in a very kind, gentle and polite way, not as Alberto Lleras, because he was telling the people, for example, if you don't vote for me, I kill you, or if you don't vote for me, I take you out from your home. So people didn't like it. So as Alberto Lleras knew that he was going to lose, because people like more uh, Jorge Yeser, he was organizing something to kill him. At 5 plus 1 p.m. on April 9, 1948, Jorge Lesser Gaitan, who was seen as the strongest and most popular candidate for president of Colombia by the Liberal Party, received three bullet wounds, which then will cast the dead. The Jimenez Avenue with 7th Street, in a few steps to the San Francisco Church, witnessed the beginning of one of the most memorable events in the city since its foundation, the Bogotazo. The town was devastated by the fighting, street by street, between liberal supporters and conservatives, between the states and the rebels, between loaders and those who were trying to revolt the order of the city. After several days of riots would be the awful balance of about 3,000 people dead or missing and destroyed more than 146 buildings, especially in the center of the city. The riots have showed in other cities and the Bogotazo will start what Easterners call as the peak and the start of the period of La Violencia, after which more than 200,000 Colombians perish because of the partition war. After that, we are going to show you many shames and consequences that the Bogotazo caused in Bogota. Let's go to look briefly some of them that especially happened in the center of the town. Like this show the center destroyed during the Bogotazo. First of all, we have the tram. What about the tram of the city? The tram of the city was opened on December 24th of 1884. The tram rolled over the 7th Avenue on the Jimenez Avenue moving the people around the city. In 1910, the tram was changed by the electrical system to move it. In addition, we have the cathedral. What about of the cathedral? The cathedral has suffered many changes. For example, one age was possible parking cars in front of it. The present killer, Juan Sierra Roa, was pulled by hundreds of people over the 7th Avenue. When the people know it about of the Gaitan dead, they start to destroy and burn everything. And the vandalism expands around the streets, the shares on letters on papers, buildings were born by these people. Near to the best homes, a lot of people destroyed approximately 136 buildings, the seven were a public buildings. In addition, in the city were among 2,000 and 2,500 of their people and 2,000 of our people. When the people killed Juan Sierra Roa, his corpse was exposed in the central cemetery of the Bogota. <laughs> 